not going to do auto sketch. Um, first thing you'll notice when you open up auto sketch, if we've gotten that far, is the startup screen will come up. Um, try and ignore this for now. Um, later on, we might get into what these functions do. But just go to start drawing immediately and click OK. All right, the first thing you'll notice is that the page display has come up and the default page for auto sketch is usually a four by portrait orientation. That means it's going up and down. Righto, look around the screen. If you don't have the snap toolbar or the um, all in one toolbar, I can help you try and find that. But um, you can go up to view and toolbars and select which toolbars you have. For now, hopefully um, you should have the all-in-one toolbar and the snap toolbar on the side here and that's about it for now so just close out of that you can move these around so you can bring it out over here and um, have it on the page if you like whatever works for you I find over here is quite useful and the content librarian over on this side you can put in templates and um, uh, just pre-drawings that are already there um, but for now we won't get into that it's important to know your way around the page um, you can scroll around just like you would any normal window page you can also use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in or out you can select parts of the drawing we don't have anything drawn there at the moment to select right now I'd like um, possibly to just show you how to center the drawing back in your page which is a neat little shortcut if you go to control hold control on your keyboard and press G control G and you'll see that your page centers back into the drawing screen a really neat little um, shortcut for when you're zooming in and fixing up something here and then you want to get back just control G straight back to your full view just have a look around um, up the top here you'll see there's a, a heap of different toolbars and functions we'll get right into um, the basics of how to start drawing but just for now you can see if you click on these drop down arrows it'll bring a list of options now this is your line style you can have it a solid line a short dash a long dash it even goes into AutoCAD um, preset AutoCAD standard lines to meet AutoCAD requirements um, there's a heap of different lines you can choose for now um, don't even select anything there just leave it as it is because it's just a solid selection um, if, just make sure it's on solid uh, over here you can select the line width it can be a by symbol or by layer it can be a hairline width you've got a whole range of widths right up to 9 pixel there um, I suggest sometimes with the outline of your drawings you choose a slightly thicker line than say your dimension lines but we can get into that later on so for now just leave it where it is which should be on hairline you can also put patterns in and fills which we'll get into further on down the track okay before we can start drawing and even looking at what all these functions do we need to set up the page to a size that we want and an orientation that we would like at the moment the defaults a4 by portrait if we go up to file and we choose page setup we can change the orientation of the page by having a look here at portrait go to the drop down arrow and select landscape and we can change the size and I'd like to change it to a3 so I'll select a3 now you'll notice that there's lines that have appeared on the preview of the page. This is because the printer page at the moment is still set to A4 portrait. And so it's going to take two and a bit pages to print that A3 page we've set up. So what we need to do is go into printer page and select the same size that we have for our drawing page, which is A3. Still a line there because it's portrait we need to change the orientation to landscape and now the preview is clear 
one more thing to do before we leave the page setup screen is go to margins and in here type in 15 for each margin. I find that 15 mil works quite well. You can you can change it to whatever you like, but um, 15 seems to work well for an A3 page. Once you've done that, they're all selected on 15. Doesn't matter if you've got the millimeters after it or not. As long as you've got 15 in there, it'll change the margins to 15. So you can see your your page has changed in orientation, and you've got the margin around there now, and it's also changed in size. You can see up here the sizes in actual scale. The next thing we'll have a look at is changing the scale of the drawing because we need to do that before we get started.